What's up guys, it's your girl Milani. Happy Monday. I know it's been forever since we talked. Um, I've been thinking a lot this morning. I said, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and do a blog because I had some stuff on my mind and I want to share it with you guys. I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about what are you guys thinking about? <laughs> I understand that the world revolves around laws and there are several of them, but one particular one that I've been thinking about is the law of attraction. You know, all in the same family, faith, you know, what have you. We learned as kids, birds of a feather flock together. You know, mama said, don't hang out with her because she do so-and-so and so-and-so, whatever. If you're not doing that, you shouldn't be hanging out with her or you'll be end up, you'll end up doing that or whatever the case is, whatever. Birds of a feather flock together. Um, and it's all about the law of attraction. You attract to yourself actually the thing that that you focus on. And that's something to really think about, you know, because our mind is an unruly beast sometimes. And we really have to control it. You know, you have to control what you feel is the result of things that you see, things that you hear. And sometimes the main thing that you hear is the thing that's coming out of your own mouth. And that's a beast right there. You know, um, I may be wishing that I lost 20 pounds. Or wishing that, you know, I got this new job. Or wishing that you filling in the blank. But my inner voice is saying, mm, maybe I'm not good enough. Mm, maybe I don't have enough experience. Mm, maybe I'm not pretty enough. Maybe I'm not, you fill in the blank. And, you know, that inner voice is, is the thing. You know, so you have to control that. You know, you have to control what you're talking about. You have to control who you let talk to you, man. You have to control the people that you allow to be in your circle. You know, some people give you energy. Some people drain your energy. And that's a beast. You know, there's a um, scripture in the Bible that says, um, faith is the substance of the things that we hope for. You know, and hope is not, is not enough, you know. Um, it says faith is the substance of the thing that you hope for. So faith is not hope. It's the substance of the thing that you hope for. I hope for a new car. I hope for a, you fill in the blank. You know, I, I think about, I'm looking for something. Okay, I got a pen. You know, this pen, the substance of this pen is plastic and whatever else has gone into it. But that's the substance of it. You know, it's made up of plastic. So the thing that you that you're hoping for um, is made up of your faith, and you have to control the things that you're hearing because that's going to control your faith. You know, um, a red flag to to know if your faith is running on four cylinders is whether or not fear is still there. Are you still afraid? You know, because fear and faith is pretty much the same thing. It's like a two-edged sword. It does the same thing. It works the same way. It's just two different sides of the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're if you running on fear, um, then you draw negative things to yourself. You're running on faith, you can draw positive things to yourself. You know? And they can't dwell in the same place. You know what I'm saying? Things can't be hot and cold at the same time. And that's a good... Um, a thing to look at if you want to know if your faith is running on all four cylinders are you still afraid think about that are you still afraid about it and we are get fearful about certain things I mean, we're, we're human but you have to control what you're listening to control what you're saying man I wasn't smart enough man I wasn't whatever you can't you can't feed yourself the crazy thing is that's the first thing that we understand about God that he started talking, right? That's the first thing that, that we see, you know, he spoke. God spoke, he spoke and this happened. He spoke and that happened. He spoke and then that happened. He did this, he did that, whatever. Then he made man and what did he do? He made him in his image. And what is the first thing that, that we learned about his image? That he spoke. He made us in his image. He, he allowed us to speak. You know what I mean? Because when you speak, you speak a result of the things that are in your heart. And you speak things that go into your mind, that go into your psyche, or whatever. And then it starts creating something. It starts creating something. And, um, yeah, that's that's my um, few minutes for today. You know, control what you are putting your focus on. 
control what you're putting your focus on, man. Don't let everybody talk to you. Don't you talk to you sometimes. Sometimes you just need to shut up till you get your mind together and, you know, figure out what you're going to put into the atmosphere. Um, Because you're creating things. You're creating things every day. Um, So what exactly is it that you're creating today? Happy Monday, y'all. Now, that's been five minutes. I said I was going to be a minute. It's been five minutes and 30 seconds. But it was good stuff, right? So I'll talk to y'all the next time. Create something good today, okay? Talk to you later.